Tesla recently made two really important new hires, one being a manufacturing expert from Bosch with 25 plus years of experience, and the second was hired to lead engineering and construction for the Gigafactory Nevada expansion. In addition, a new report recently came out uh, that the first signs of construction have begun at the site of Tesla's upcoming Gigafactory Mexico, which will be building Tesla's next generation vehicles. So follow along as I discuss these important updates. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Earlier this year in January, Tesla held a special event at Gigafactory Nevada and announced that they would be investing over $3.6 billion to expand the factory to include 100 gigawatt hours of 4680 battery manufacturing capacity and space for high volume semi truck manufacturing. However, fast forward to where we are here in August and construction has not yet begun at that facility. And there really haven't been any updates on this expansion until now. According to this recent Electrek article, Tesla hired someone named Michael Hildebrand to head up the engineering and construction of the Gigafactory Nevada expansion. Interestingly, Michael previously worked for a pharmaceutical manufacturing company, and he recently led a two plus billion dollar construction project, which was able to go from concept to factory operation 18 months sooner than the expected timeline according to Michael's LinkedIn profile. So it appears like Michael will be a good fit for Tesla to head up expansion at Gigafactory Nevada because I'm sure they wanna do that in record time once they actually start the project. And it looks like Michael has a track record of beating expectations when it comes to building out a manufacturing space. This Gigafactory Nevada expansion once again will include um, space to mass manufacture the Tesla Semi, which is going to be really key for Tesla's future, um, because right now the Tesla Semi is being manufactured in small volumes in Fremont, California. In addition, adding 100 gigawatt hours of 4680 battery manufacturing space. That's also going to be huge as well. And I imagine a number of those batteries will be used in the Tesla Semi in the future because right now the Tesla Semi is being built without 4680 batteries. But I believe the plan originally was for the Tesla Semi to include 4680 batteries. When we talk about mass manufacturing the Tesla Semi, very likely this Gigafactory Nevada space will be capable of building out roughly 50,000 semi-trucks per year. And this is a number that Elon Musk mentioned in their Q3 2022 conference call when Elon specifically mentioned aiming for 50,000 units being built in 2024 when it comes to the Tesla Semi. In addition to Tesla hiring for the Gigafactory Nevada expansion, Tesla also recently hired um, a new manufacturing executive. And this was reported by this August 9th Electric article. And this person's name is Dr. Michael Schmidt. And Michael has over 25 years of experience at the German manufacturer Bosch. This article further clarifies that Dr. Schmidt was hired, quote, to cover a broad role in Tesla's North American manufacturing operations. Dr. Michael Schmidt will no doubt be working directly with Tom Zhu, who was moved from a Tesla role in China to oversee sales and manufacturing in North America. And I believe this is especially important as Tesla expands their manufacturing footprint in North America with what could be their highest volume manufacturing site yet, Gigafactory Mexico. Tom Zhu, though extremely talented, is only one person and Dr. Schmidt, I'm sure will be a great asset and a great help in regards to North American manufacturing. Now on the topic of Gigafactory Mexico, as I introduced at the beginning of this video, a really important report recently came out that the first steps of construction have apparently begun at the site of Tesla's new Gigafactory in Mexico. This was reported in Spanish in an article on Millennio.com, and I've translated that article um, from Spanish to English with Google Translate, so this is not going to be perfect here. But as you can see, this article claims that work has begun at the site of Tesla's future Gigafactory in Mexico. 
However, I do want to make sure that we don't get too excited too quickly here because this is just a bit of excavation on the side of the road. Um, nothing major yet, but at least it's a start. Hopefully we'll see a lot more work happening soon and I'm looking forward to people capturing and sharing that. Um, and maybe an official announcement will come from Tesla pretty soon. And I am looking forward to a potential groundbreaking ceremony in the future as well. Now, when it comes to when this factory will start producing vehicles, I expect it'll happen quite quickly once they actually get started. And I don't think it'll take longer than a year from start of construction to the first vehicles rolling off the production line because Tesla is getting better and better at building factories and they're extremely efficient. And with Tom Zhu um, on board helping with that process, of course, he's the one that oversaw um, Gigafactory Shanghai, which has been an impressive uh, factory altogether for Tesla. But with Tom Zhu and with Tesla's new hire of Dr. Schmidt, I have no doubt it'll go quite quickly. However, since construction really hasn't started and there's been no official groundbreaking, we really can't start the time clock yet. Um, and as I reported previously, it looks like Gigafactory Mexico won't be producing vehicles until the first quarter of 2025. And this comes from a latepost.com article that was published in June of this year. And supposedly this report is based on information from Tesla's suppliers. And this report seems pretty credible because of course Tesla would let suppliers know when they need parts for their new vehicles. So if suppliers are indeed reporting this, I believe it's a date that we can probably go with. And if Tesla is just now starting to do the very beginning steps of getting ready for construction there, the start of production in the first quarter of 2025 does seem very realistic based on this. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.